Hi, I'm John Kretschmer, sailing today in Biscayne Bay in beautiful Miami, Florida. I'm aboard a Morris M42, a modern classic and an absolutely stunning boat. Today we're going to demonstrate the Force Bar Leisure Furl Mainsail Reefing System. It's a unique system that allows you to raise, lower, and reef the main from the safety of the cockpit. The versatile force bar leisure furl boom can be reefed three ways. The conventional method of coming head to wind, you can reef while you're sailing on a close reach or even a beam reach, and you can also reef sailing downwind, and we're going to demonstrate these techniques today. The first step is to simply pull back the sail cover. This is easily accomplished with a continuous line that you access from the head of the boom. There's no climbing over a big sail cover or wrestling with lazy jacks. Raising the main sail is really easy with the Leisure Furl main sail system. The first step is to ease the main sheet. Then Kyler's going to release the furling line. Taji is going to raise the halyard. It's a push button affair. The wind is piping up and we've decided to put the first reef in the main. Reefing the leisure furl is easy and direct, especially sailing upwind. Kyler's going to start by easing the main just to take some of the pressure off. Once the sail's got a slight luff in it, he's going to throw the clutch and load the furling line. Taji's going to ease the main halyard clutch and be ready to ease the main halyard. Maintaining proper luff tension is always important with the leisure furl. The triple wrap on the winch does a general job of maintaining the tension, but you can feel it in your hands. If you should ever hear a winch starting to moan or groan, that's a, a clue that you have a little too much tension. Once you do this once or twice, it seems the most natural thing in the world. Reefs in. Halyard secure, and we're ready to get underway with a shortened main. We're actually going to put a deep reef in now. We've got one reef in from our previous shoot. Now we're going to put the second reef in. Once the main just starts to luff, he's going to secure the sheet, switch over to the furling line, and be ready to put in the reef. Taji at this point is going to release the main halyard clutch and then take the halyard free of the winch and be ready to maintain proper luff tension as Kyler puts the reef in. This is pretty impressive. This is a second reef and it's clean and easy with really no muss or fuss. We reef to the battens. The full battens are not only provide great sail shape, they give a great visual reference on where the reef should be. The reality of offshore sailing, ocean sailing, is that sometimes it's not possible to come up wind or reef. The beauty of the leisure furl system is that it allows you to reef on a deep reach or even downwind. The principles of downwind reefing are similar to upwind reefing. We're going to start by centering the boom. This allows us to depower the main. At this point, we're going to ease the halyard, load the furling line, and reef the same way we reef going upwind. Maintaining proper luff tension is really important when reefing downwind. We're heading back to the dock after a great day of sailing. Taji brings the boat into the wind and Kyler goes ahead and loads the furling line on the winch. She eases the halyard and he lowers the sail. That's all there is to it. The last step is to simply pull the sail cover back into place. As you can see, the Force Bar Leisure Furl Mainsail Reefing and Furling System was a big part of why today was such a pleasant day on the water. For more information on this incredible system, go to forcebar.com.